this is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. First of all, Ed, uh, reflections on Sunday's game against Saracens. How much did that, that win mean to Tigers and to the, the season going forward? Well, you know, I'm sure from, from the reaction at the end of the game, you saw how important it was for us. I thought um, we showed a lot of resilience towards the end. Um, we got ourselves into a bit of a sticky situation with five minutes ago. Um, a bit of class from, from Manu um, to get us a line out, you know, 20, 30 out. And then, you know, the forwards looking after the ball like that and, and Geordie obviously stepping up. It was, it was huge for us. And uh, we talked earlier in the week about, you know, the attitude we wanted to take into the games and, and I thought that we took that into Saracens and, and uh, you know, we beat a very good side away. Yeah, and a very eventful game for yourself, not least in yeah. the first minute with the yellow card. I don't know if you're aware, but that's the fastest yellow card in Tigers history, so <laughs> do this one um, for you. I don't know whether to be proud of that or not, but, um, you know, the decision was made on, on the time, you know, whether I agreed with it or not probably doesn't matter, but... Um, in the end, you know, I was, I was fortunate that we actually came out of that 10 minutes when I was in the bin with 3-0 up, so, you know, I was, I was pretty relieved. Yeah, and then a contrast of emotion in the second half, you go over for your second try of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it was a metre out, it wasn't a jinking run from halfway line, unfortunately, although I might have told my mum or dad that. Um, but yeah, you know, I was happy with that, it, it managed to put us back in the game, so... Um, yeah, I was real pleased with that. Yeah, and you mentioned Geordie already with that, that drop kick. Yeah. What's your recollection? Where were you when it went over? And... Um, on my knees, <laughs> struggling for breath. Um, yeah, no, I watched it. Uh, like, like Geordie said in the week, it wasn't obviously the best drop goal he's ever done. And, and when I saw him drop the ball, I, I was a little worried for, for a moment, but, but it flew over. And uh, I think <laughs> if you look at the, the video, we went, went pretty mad after. Yeah, um, Geordie will make his 300th appearance for Tigers this weekend against Newcastle. Tell us a bit about him as a, as a teammate and as a, as a person. Um, just generally around the club, you know, he's got a lot of respect. Um, very kind of laid back character, you know. Um, uh, and obviously when I was younger, watching Tigers and things like that, he's a, one of the better players and, you know, he's, he's obviously a club legend. So, you know, he's, he's got a lot of respect to the club and, you know, he's, he's done a lot, won a lot of titles, Heineken Cups, all sorts. So, you know, he's great to have in the team. Um, he, he brings that calm, you know, calm collective head that we need on the field, you know, when we're in certain situations. And, you know, I think the game against Harrison's just proved that he stepped up to the mark and, you know, he showed what he's all about. Yeah, and uh, looking forward to that Newcastle game. It's important to, to follow up that Saracens victory with another performance, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You know, it's it's all it's all okay. You know, coming out of that game, you know, saying we're beating Saracens away, but but it means nothing. You know, if you lose the next weekend, so you know Newcastle are going to come and they're going to work hard. And you know, they've, we we played them a few weeks ago in the LV. Um, they made things difficult for us. Uh, you know, we didn't win by a great margin. Um, so we'll be looking to pick up some more points. You know, try and close that gap between the the top two now. And you must be pleased with how things are going for you personally. Not least, you know, being named the Goldsmiths Player of the Month for uh, for January. Yeah, I mean that means a lot to me. Just you know, with the with the supporters voting for it, so you know that's massive. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to play for the Saxons during the month as well, and you know, so yeah, it's, uh, from from a personal point of view, it's been a a really big month for me, and and I think that um, there's a lot of things I can learn out of the last few weeks, and and hopefully use that come the end of the season and, and pushing on with Tigers. And uh, finally, a quick word on England. Your um, your second row partner, Jeff Parlin, looks like he may be starting for England at the weekend. Must be delighted for him. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I think he deserves it. Uh, he's come on the last couple of games. He's, I thought he's uh, you know looked really stable. Kind of the line out was working good, which is you know one of his you know effective part of the game. So I hope he I hope he gets a start. I think he deserves it, and and there's no doubt he'll work hard for it.